Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. T.R. McCarthy, a.k.a. T.R., the long guy, mortgage broker for Scepter Mortgage. How are you doing today? I had to stop what I was doing today, guys, because I'm so excited. And I wanted to come on here and I want you to help me congratulate first-time homeowner Angie Delgado. This is her first home. It, we've been through a lot with this home. Over five months, it's built from the ground up, new construction. We had many setbacks between the rain and all of the things that were going on. The county coming out, putting in the breakers and boxes, all the things we had to go through. But we finally did it. Angie, I'm so happy for you. Congratulations. You deserve it. Thank you for allowing me to help you out here on this transaction. Enjoy it. TR, the long guy, signing out. TR McCarthy, a.k.a. TR, the loan guy, a.k.a. the mortgage goat, mortgage broker for Scepter Mortgage. How are you doing today? Today, I want you guys to put your hands together. Help me applaud first-time homeowner, new construction, new build homeowner, Miss Angie Delgado. Angie, thank you. Congratulations. You are you are a big time, first time homeowner. How do you feel about your new home purchase? I'm very excited to be here and to be done with the process. I love the property and I am ready to just move in and stop looking at emails. <laughs> right? I don't want to see other Zillow texts for a while. All this, that. Is, this is mine. Yes. It's love. Done. It's mine. We can now make the next steps. The next steps of getting all the furniture in, putting up the pictures, all the things that you're going to do to make it a home. Correct? Absolutely. Absolutely. Getting all right. First. <laughs> saving. Right. right. Saving some money. All right. Now, now, we've been dealing with this particular um, purchase now. We're going on now five months. We started looking at homes that were already built. We looked at about three homes. We had some offers in, but it just wasn't the right home for you as you decided. And you then found this particular um, new construction build and put in on it. And here we are now, five months in the process. We finally got this one closed, wrapped up, recorded, and you're now in it. Tell me, what was the process like for you in this particular purchase? I think the process was as well as could be expected to, based on what we were dealing with. The new build posed the original issue of it not being a home for you to attach a loan to. So once it was actually a home that you all could have something to send to someone to ask for some money, it became a little easier. So the new build process did add some stuff to the, to the, the longevity of our five months, as did Mother Nature, because we had 60 days of rain straight. I don't think that ever happened in the history of California. So we were in every possible thing that could obstacle. go. Right. The obstacle course was wet for 60 extra days. So mm -hmm. I think that just made our five months, five months, but it probably would have been two to three months. So I definitely want people that are hearing this to know, I think our situation was a little bit different. And it, I don't think it would normally take five months. Um, I did think about some of those first houses that we looked at, like, go back. Can we just go back? I remember even saying to y'all a couple times, what if we just walked away right now? And I know I probably gave y'all heart attacks when I did that. But I was just like, how do we get to the easiest solution? So your, your patience, you're giving me inside tips and saying, if you do this, this is going to happen. But if you do this, this is going to happen just so that I could be in the knowledgeable about what my choices were going to mean short term and long term. So I think that helped out a lot tremendously through the process. So it sounds like five months because is a long time because everyone kept saying, why is it taking you so long? Why is it taking you so long? But we had things that unprecedented obstacles to overcome. Absolutely. And I think 
locking in the loans and extending things and you having that foresight made it a difference. Nadir is staying on top of the uh, builders and knowledge of like, is this really going to happen? Is Edison really going to plumb something? So you two as a team made the process bearable because I probably would have like thrown my hands up with others who didn't look like us. Um, you, you tried many times. <laughs> Right. Now, let me ask you this question. Um, so the process itself was one thing. What was it like working with me as your broker and working with our company, Scepter Mortgage and TR The Long Guy? I think it was very, I came in um, thinking this wasn't going to be possible because I thought, you know, being a, a an entrepreneur and having what I thought was a complex financial or income strategy and background was going to deter me from being able to get a house. I was going to be paying these astronomical rates or I was going to be denied all this. And you made sure that before anything happened, I knew what, what I was doing. And I knew and you kept telling me it's going to be okay. Like you're going to, we can find something. We're going to be able to get you into something like, don't be determined, deterred because of this or that. I know tax time came and went and we were trying to figure out what was going to be the best play. And you were able to give me good information and good, advice on what to do in order to keep the process going, but then also to be financially responsible um, and giving me real life examples. And then you give me real life examples on how it's worked before with those clients that you all have shared before. So Scepter, I thought was great. Exactly. <laughs> you know, exactly. 